Yeah, so the crash took place at the intersection behind me, and neighbors here say the speed limit's 35 miles per hour, but people almost never travel that on this stretch of road. Now, that bus was traveling to South Mecklenburg High School with about 15 students on board, which is about a mile away from here. People in Charlotte speeding, and they don't do a damn thing. It's a curvy stretch of road that neighbors call problematic. The speed coming off of this curve and coming through this area is always high impact. You know, it's, I'm surprised this hasn't happened soon. This is what happens when people don't slow down. A dump truck collided head on with a CMS school bus at Sharon Brook Drive and Sharon Road West. They speed on my road. Shortly after 6.30 this morning. Basically, it sounded like an explosion. According to medic, around 17 people were treated on the scene. 14 or 15 coming from the school bus, and then we had the patients that were in the um, other vehicles. It took first responders about 30 minutes to get the CMS bus driver out. The dump truck driver took about an hour. Due to the high impact, we encountered some problems just in the sheer nature of the force and the amount of, of um, metal that was around the driver. We were able to access the kids very quickly and get them separated and start assessing their injuries. School bus 222 was heading to South Mecklenburg High School. I do know some people that are on that bus like um, that have been in my classroom. It's a little unnerving. James Daniels' grandson is a student there. I texted him to see was he okay. He just said uh, he was in the bus next to him. I just hope all the kids are okay. I'm pretty sure they're all shook up. Neighbors are now hoping people slow down. So this doesn't happen again. Think about the kids first. When you come through here, the speed limit is 35, and especially during the morning when kids are getting on the bus, just slow down. It's a pretty tragic accident. We're very fortunate that um, we're able to get these kids out of here and everybody out of harm's way. Now, officials are continuing to investigate. I did reach out to CDOT to see if they had any stats in terms of the number of accidents that take place on this stretch of road, but I'm waiting to hear back. They said they would look into that for me. Live in Charlotte, Lindsey Klein, Queen City News.